I have to say that I was surprised when this game was announced last fall, not because of the correlation between Square Enix and their overwhelming catalogue of distinct RPG titles, but rather because theater rhythm is such a clear departure from what we can usually expect. The game certainly contains classic characters from well-known games, but they are put together in a different package. Not only is theater rhythm a clear nod to one of the biggest game franchises, it's also an experience that allows one to relive the diversity of music that many RPG fans have come to love. This game puts the music in focus, and with the available demo it becomes clear how important the composers have been to the series as a whole. The sound library is not only huge, it's also an underlying reason for the popularity of the RPG genre. The music is a vital part of Final Fantasy, and has a stylistic vein that has often spread to other RPGs. So, I have been playing Theater Rhythm. Yeah, there is a demo available in the Nintendo eShop right now, and without sounding too pompous, I want to say that I have mixed feelings about this game. Firstly, it's clear that the demo is quite short. Of course, we are only scratching the surface of what's to come, but I do ask myself if the developers literally pushed in various moments to keep this game floating above the surface. After all, this is a rhythm game where you have to time your taps to the beat of the music. It seems to be the main ingredient of the game, and everything else that comes along is of secondary importance. At least that's my opinion after playing through the demo. The full version includes over 100 characters that have different strengths in battle, and so far everything is fine, but once I play I realize that what happens in the lower edge is basically impossible to follow. That's where a battle is going on, but because I'm so focused on my mission, I basically miss the whole show, but the biggest question mark is whether the game offers any kind of variety or whether the demo reveals what this will be about in terms of gameplay. Don't get me wrong, I actually found it pretty fun to dot the notes, almost a little addictive, but if this is all you do from start to finish, well, then I wonder if this will be worth the $50 which is the price of the game, but I have seen some clips that show that you can play both vertically and horizontally. At the very least, the difference may point to the fact that this can be challenging in different ways, and I think that's good. Then we have the music, which is obviously among the most epic ever produced for a game series. As I understand it, old favorites are coming back along with music from most Final Fantasy games. The demo contains 30 tracks, but in the full version you can listen to 385 carefully selected tracks, so this probably indicates that this is a comprehensive rhythm game. Another thing that I found annoying was that if you're behind or ahead of the pulse, it sounds like you're constantly off the beat, and this is annoying because you usually dot the notes visually, instead of following the music. It's almost as if you get the best points if you are off rhythm, it might be good for a final score, but it sounds horrible. However, there is a setting where you can experiment with the sensitivity of the control, but I noticed little difference when I played, it still sounded terrible. Now, I might sound like I'm overly critical, and maybe I should be a little careful. It's just a demo after all. Maybe the final version is a real hit. We will simply have to wait and see. So, what is your opinion on this game? What is it about the genre that can be so fascinating? Let me know in the comments below. So go download the demo if you haven't already. And feel free to subscribe to my channel. Have a good day. See ya!